It's been a fantastic experience. Um, different, very tiring, uh, not so much physically but mentally draining. Um, but it, it's been fantastic and to be around um, the, this bunch of people um, has been great. The, the respect that they show to each other and to me is uh, is ridiculous. We went over in January and had a had a, a training session over there for a weekend um, and just worked on a few of the basic skills and mainly defence, uh, trying to um, tighten up their defence. And I mean, I, I know there's been a fair high in score, but um, but that's going to be a major focus. Um, and then the last time I went over was two weeks ago before we came here and had to sort of put together a game plan and. Um, you can see that the game plan, whilst you know there, there's still a few um, kinks in the chain, um, it's going to develop. And from from game one, um, you know, being 15-5 to New Zealand, and then I think it was 13-2 um, to Australia, and then to come back and and to put a few more tries on, and, and to and to sort of bridge that gap. Um, you can see that throughout throughout the tournament. So it's a, it's very different, obviously, coaching. Um, it can be frustrating because you, you like to get out there and you can sort of uh, release a bit of your emotion on the field, but I just have to do it in the box. So uh, they've learned a few interesting words, um, uh, choice words, I, I should say. Um, but, yeah, uh, just sort of playing it um, as it comes at this point in time and um, see where it takes me. I think you can take a lot away from their culture in, in the way that they operate with each other. Um, they, they do everything for each other. I mean, there is, there's definitely a hierarchy. So the older players, uh, they tend to boss the younger players around, but they don't, they don't take the mickey out of it. Um, and as I said, that, that respect, um, you know, no one's bigger than the team. Uh, the, you know, the uh, Hitch, the captain, you know, he, for example, I asked him why he wore number uh, 16 and because he wanted to be the last choice number because he wanted to give the, the younger players. Um, so it's those types of things that I think um, any team can take out of it. And I think, we, I think Australia uh, have got that. Um, but yeah, just that mentality within a team, it, you know, you watch them um, hang around each other and you know, n there's no clicks, so to speak. Oh, as I said, there's a hierarchy, but uh, there, there's no clicks. Everyone's friends with each other. So. Because being here and being around it, you just, you realise how much you miss it, but um, you know, if there's a message you could, I could say to the the people that are there now is, you never take it for granted. You know, I tried never to because the older players before me um, always pass that message on to me. But um, yeah, when when you're sort of coming towards the end, or even just at a tournament, you never know when it's going to be the last time you're going to to wear the, the green and gold, which is always um, an absolute privilege that should should never be taken for granted. Um, and you know I'm I'm lucky enough that I can still be a, um, somewhat a part of it. The Trady and and the, and the boys have, have you know have always welcomed me within the team, and I appreciate that. So um, I still have that affiliation, and I'll always have that affiliation as as long um, as long as I'm around the touch fields. I've got a big raps on all of them. Right off the top of my head is uh, uh, Piercy. I, I think you know I like to I nickname him Silky because everything he does is very smooth, and he just he seems to have a lot of time with the ball. Um, Jordan Marshall, on the last couple of years, I'd, last year, I, I've never seen him play um, touch as good as he's been playing. Um, and then, you know, with the Jaden Loves and I, I, Scott Bundy's, you know, <laughs> you, you name those players of this Australian team, you, they're there for because they do their job well. Um, and with the players that they've got around them, the experience they've got around them already, and that culture that's been uh, built within the team, it's, you know, I think that's why I think the Touch Football Australia is in, in good hands.